uh, they do uh, because uh, when we say that this is a new situation uh, we are facing very new dynamics obviously we need to behave differently because because the situation is new because in a new situation if you keep doing things the old way that means you are actually um, missing the uh, the situation or uh, missing the events which are making this situation so different um, and obviously um, since the processes are now different and the technology is uh, developing uh, in a very uh, fast rate then we need to figure out that how we need to generate ideas how we need to um, take different action so that we are able to really meet the uh, situation where the challenges are so different. Uh, obviously, it means that we need to all the time um, come up with newer uh, ideas. We have to explore new things so that, you know, uh, we, uh, we are able to figure out now that how with the new kind of uh, thinkings with new with new ideas we are able to mold our business we are able to create new solutions new products new services uh, to uh, suit the um, to suit the changing requirements so i think that um, the mindset has to be of continuous exploration and innovation that's one. Secondly, um, sometimes we, we might be able to figure out uh, what we may expect in the coming days by looking at the customer complaints very carefully. Because sometimes, you know, we um, as an entrepreneur, as a business, we may not sometimes realize uh, that what is happening on a day-to-day -day basis because we are so um, deep into uh, doing our own things we sometimes don't notice those uh, signals you know that say that, that, that things are changing but when a customer comes and complains and if we listen to those complaints carefully then we may realize many a time that oh the customer requirements are changing customer want a different kind of product customers want a different kind of solution and um, and if we know, keep on noticing these customers complaints uh, and um, you know that uh, um, that itself probably you know uh, may work as a resource for innovation that customer complains. And thirdly, uh, you know, you, you are sometimes you see what is happening in some other areas uh, and you you observe the the, uh, the things that are happening in some other sectors uh, which appear to you very uh, new kind of changes and sometimes you draw parallel that okay if certain things are happening in in some other sectors uh, does it have uh, some implications for your sector okay that, uh, that I mean that kind of observation say, say innovation uh, used in some uh, for some other processes, other products may have some application for your product, your processes. So that's um, also um, quite an important uh, a, a, you know, a tool or technique. And, and 
lastly, I mean, how to organize the whole discovery process itself. See, uh, so far I was telling it is uh, all about observing, uh, taking note of things, uh, but it, it cannot be left to uh, serendipity, uh, it cannot be um, left to some very unstructured um, you know, process. The, the, the whole thought process, the whole method of developing this kind of questioning, observing also need to be structured so that it happens as, as, a, um, as a predetermined process that you, you decide to observe things in a particular way you decide to do things in a uh, in a particular way, then what happens that the whole process uh, become quite structured process. In a structured process, when you start um, finding uh, new ideas, when you start observing innovations in other sectors, you will see that slowly you are able to generate you know, new ideas for yourself. Or when every day as a as a very conscious uh, effort you start observing customers listening to their complaints at the end you'll be able to come up with new ideas so this is the kind of new mindset uh, we need to uh, develop uh, as a as an individual and also as an organization